Hey guys, you follow me here. Uh, this is going to be a uh, a little look at uh, my completed DPMS Oracle upper. Um, this is the uh, DPMS uh, uh, AR that uh, I got from my uh, friend Larry. Pretty much has been my guinea pig to uh, try out different things and see what I like and what I don't like. Um, I am going to be returning it to him with some upgrades for him and appreciation for uh, everything that he's done for me. For uh, starters, I uh, putting the uh, AB Arms uh, Mod 1 on there. Uh, he's uh, military, so he, he does a lot of his, uh, of his uh, shooting like that. And uh, so I, I put, some, uh, put a piece of rail on the uh, AB Arms and put that grip on there to see if he, uh, if he likes that. Otherwise, uh, being that he's, like I said, being that he's military, he uh, pretty much is a uh, iron sights guy, so that's why he got this with the uh, peep sights uh, carry handle. Um, I also, I'm, I'm also leaving the uh, Magpul uh, uh, trigger guard on there for him. I just think it's a big improvement over the uh, the flat straight one, and I'll see if he uh, if he likes this uh, grip. Otherwise, I'll put his uh, DPMS back on there for him. Uh, things that he's not getting is he's not getting that bad lever. Uh, Steve from uh, Making Masterclass uh, sent me that. Uh, I, I love the bad lever. I know uh, obviously Steve didn't, or the, otherwise he wouldn't have sent it to me. <laughs> yeah, his loss, Steve. Uh, so I, I love the bad lever. It's just uh, uh, you can just just moves all your controls uh, to your fingertip. So. That's that's why I'm gonna be returning that to my buddy. Now, voila! This is uh, pretty much everything I had honestly hoped for. Uh, the only thing that uh, is definitely going to change eventually is the optics. Uh, when I get back on my feet. I really like the EOTech 512. I know there's other EOTechs, but I actually kind of like the 512. The size of it doesn't bother me. I like the fact that it runs on AA batteries instead of the CR123s. Uh, okay, so starting with the first thing I uh, changed is uh, that is the uh, Yankee Hill Yankee Hill machine uh, flash hider. They call it flash hider. Uh, compensator. It uh, has a, a very uh, aggressive look to it. It's uh, actually kind of sharp, so when, uh, when you run out of bullets, you can just uh, stab people with it. Um, I did not like the uh, fixed front sight, so when uh, this upper was uh, ordered, it was ordered with the gas block, and uh, that is the Midwest Industries uh, front flip up. It's uh, specifically made for uh, gas blocks. Uh, if you compare it with their other models, the uh, the difference in this post height is the difference between your uh, normal top rail and the uh, rail on your gas block. It is a uh, machined aluminum, so it's not going to melt like a uh, the Magpul uh, uh, flip ups uh, would. And uh, I just wanted to be able to move it forward just a little bit. I just I just wanted I wanted that look. I really like that. It does have a positive lock, so you can. Uh, uh, lock it, uh, it locks up and stays up, otherwise it just uh, flips when it's uh, ready to be used. Uh, hand guards. Uh, I was able to complete this basically yesterday because I got a, a package in the mail from uh, Bill from the Lock and Low channel. He was uh, at a gun show and uh, found me the last few things that, uh, that I wanted at a, uh, at a fantastic price. So I know I'm probably going to get ripped by uh, M Gonza 29 because the original plan was to uh, do uh, dark earth uh, front and rear uh, uh, flip ups, but uh, these came along at a price and they had black. And to be totally honest, I actually kind of like that uh, they would more or less blend and disappear as opposed to stand out. And if I ever uh, if I ever really desire to uh, change them, I could probably uh, I could probably paint them. 
So, hand guards, uh, Magpul, uh, one piece. Uh, they're, uh, they're a plastic uh, cover and they are uh, a little bit uh, thinner. I do like that. The, uh, the Magpul AFG2. I know some guys are partial to the vertical post, but I personally really, I really love the feel of this. Optics, everybody asks about this. This is just a very inexpensive NC Star red dot. Uh, it does have uh, the internal uh, dot and it also has a uh, projector, uh, the laser. Uh, I, I have no idea if this is going to hold up or not. The uh, day that I got to go shooting, there was just way too many people shooting and I do know that it was hitting about five or six feet uh, to the left at 300 yards. So I know since then though I have uh, gotten it a lot closer by co-witnessing the sights. And uh, rear flip ups are the Mag Magpul Gen 2's and uh, you can co-witness uh, co through your optics uh, perfectly. I mean basically this setup is pretty much exactly what I wanted. Uh, Midwest Industries makes a really nice uh, rear but I like the Magpul and how uh, how flat and low they ride. So, so let's see what it looks like on a lower. I am extremely happy with this. I know you may ask why the uh, why the dark earth on uh, the handguards because my uh, my end result is going to be a mix of dark earth and black. I have to say originally I wanted an all black gun. I never even I never even thought about this until uh, in the mail I got this uh, Magpul MOE. Uh, Buttstock from uh, J.M. Fitch. This thing, this thing is awesome. I really appreciate him sending me this. This was on his uh, service weapon for eight months in a tour of uh, of Iraq, and this definitely had to go on the gun. Um, I, he just has no idea how much I appreciate him sending me that, and the fact that it was on a weapon defending. Defending uh, our great country just means so much to me. So it's very important to me that the uh, lower uh, is uh, needs to be mil spec. I can't even show you how it looks because uh, DPMS uses commercial uh, buffer tubes and that does not fit on here. But that's why it's very important to me that my lower ends up being uh, uh, mil spec so that uh, that will go on there. So the end, my end plan is obviously the uh, earth. Uh, the grip would be earth. Uh, Bill also sent me a uh, Magpul uh, trigger guard. So that will be earth. And uh, I'm going to get a couple of uh, the uh, earth uh, P mags. And when I get around to uh, finally being able to get that EOTech, I'm also considering getting that in earth. So. Everything would just blend so nicely. So that that was just a just wanted to give you a, a little look at. Uh, I'm very happy with the end result on the uh, the upper, uh, starting with the uh, the flash hider, all the way down uh, the, the sights. It just just has a very uh, it says has the look that I was looking for, and I'm very appreciative of all the guys that have given me a hand on this uh, on this project. Uh, just be just because you didn't uh, send me a part doesn't mean that I don't truly appreciate the comments and the PMs and uh, the phone calls. Um, you know, I got uh, 
Bill from the Lock and Load channel has helped me out so much. Uh, Steve from Making Masterclass. Uh, Veracity Nation. Uh, M Gonza 29. And I've had a had a lot of uh, really good calls with uh, uh, Rich, uh, our tadpole, talking about different features. I mean, he's had the opportunity to uh, to play around with some uh, different uh, lowers uh, side by side uh, to give a comparison. And uh, Rich, your help is uh, your help has been uh, awesome too. So it's just it's just been it's just been all around. It's been a great project just being able to interact with guys and find things that you like and you don't like. You know, uh, I've I've helped a few guys. Uh, you know, have given this uh, the AFG2 a try. I mean, I mean for me, I just I like that feel. It gets you close to a vertical grip, but I like that little bit more of an angle. And there's there's you know different options on how you can hang on to it. So just wanted to just wanted to show you. I'm uh, I'm pretty happy. I'm, I'm very happy with the. Uh, with the end result. Get those flipped down and out of the way. And until I had the opportunity to actually try this, I know some guys like to have that uh, fixed, uh, that fixed front sight on there, but I tell you, when you're a... Uh, when you're, uh, when you're looking through, uh, through the optics and don't have that whole area taken up by uh, taken up by that fixed sight. I, I really I really like that. But you know, going with an option like this, you're you're set to go if you if you want to. You don't even you don't even have to worry about even taking your optics off. You can just uh, co witness through, and you're uh, and you're all set. So so there you go. Just a quick look, I'll continue using uh, the DPMS uh, uh, lower until I'm able to get something else. And uh, just, wanted to, just wanted to show you the, uh, show you where I was on the upper. I really like that, I really like that flash hider. It's like improvement over the, uh, just the typical bird cage. And I was, I was very surprised that uh, some uh, some of our uh, commie states um, pin pin the flash hider on. Some of the anti-gun laws are so ridiculous. Um, our tadpole and uh, yeah, these P mags are uh, these P mags are awesome too. Yeah, this is a 30 rounder. I think in uh I think in uh Jersey, I, I think you're allowed to have a what is it? Uh is it two shots? Or or do you have to load them one at a time? Just just giving you crap, Rich. So, okay. I'm gonna get out of here. And a couple guys uh, asked me uh, asked me to show how this uh, was looking so far. And uh, there you go, Yankee Hill Machines flash hider. The uh, Midwest Industries uh, flip up, made for the gas block. Got my NC Star and uh, the Magpul Gen 2 uh, flip ups. Got the uh, Earth uh, Grip and the AFG2, and um, really, really liking the way this thing is looking. I cannot get wait to get out and shoot it. So, so thank all you guys that uh, have been giving me a hand on this, and that's uh, that's where we are at right now. If anyone has a suggestion, uh, suggestion, um, the one thing that uh, I actually really, uh, really do want to put back on here is a uh, a two a two uh, a ring strap 
not a not a single uh, not a single ring uh, uh, sling, and uh, like like this guy has the uh, mount there and part of the uh, part of that front sight post. Uh, this one will end up with uh, basically nothing. Um, Veracity Nation sent me a Daniel's Defense uh, a quick quick release for there, but now I need to get something out front. So if someone has a suggestion, uh, please let me know because I lean towards a two point two point sling, not the single sling. Um, this is this is not going to be a SWAT tactical entry uh, weapon, and. Uh, I know this. I know the single point slings are cool and all, but I just really don't want this uh, 30 round uh, magazine uh, or tadpole bouncing off my junk. So, if anyone has a suggestion on uh, on converting, uh, I mean, uh, maybe uh, maybe I should just go take a look. Maybe uh, uh, Magpul uh, makes uh, an adapter or something that mounts on there. Otherwise, uh, otherwise, like I said. Uh, my buddy Veracity Nation sent me that uh, Daniel's Defense, the Daniel's Defense. Uh, where is that? Have it for the buffer. Buffer buffer doesn't fly out of here. Daniel's Defense uh, quick release. So you need those uh, push push pin style slings. So there you go. Just wanted to show you guys uh, show you guys the uh, where. Where this little badass is sitting right now, so uh, it's a Z Bomi, and uh, I'm out of here. You guys, have a good day.